It has been 10 days of incredible hunting. I've considered I've met new friends, not just, just met people. Uh, give me as much as I gave them, if not more, which not many people can that, can, can that be said of. Uh, had a great time. Uh, good food, good hunting. I mean, I, I'd say something negative if I could, trust me. And those of you who know me are watching this, no, I would. Uh, absolutely nothing negative to say. It's uh, it's been fabulous. It, it's been. Uh, I came with very high expectations, and everything about the hunt exceeded my expectations, which again is some sometimes can be difficult for me. So, uh, if ever presented the opportunity, come. If you don't have the opportunity, make the opportunity. Um, if you've ever grew up, if you're, if you're an old man like me and you grew up watching Marlon Perkins and Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom and you always dreamed about hunting in Africa, come. Don't say you'll do it next year. Don't say you'll do it the year after. Call and book. Uh, we actually booked two months before we came. So don't think this has to be a four or five year process. It doesn't. Don't let people scare you by talking about how hard it is to get through the airport because it's not. Don't let people scare you about anything because there's absolutely nothing about this trip that's been unpleasant. Except maybe the flight, which is not so fun. But other than that, absolutely nothing that there's no reason for anyone in the world who watches this video not to come. Uh, last little thing here, if you, if you come and you, you have the chance, film your hunt get pictures. I can tell you I haven't seen the video yet. Obviously it hasn't been made, but the pictures are unbelievable. Uh, the things that, that Nadine has done with the Gala Productions just to to bring the hunt to life. And, and there, those of you that know me will see these pictures time and time again before you ever see the video. But those of you that don't, uh, trust me, uh, you want to do that. Uh, great hunt. Some stalks were short, some stalks were long. Stocks are fairly easy. One almost killed me. Um, some shots that were 100 yards, some shots that were over 500 yards. Uh, it's it's a plethora of hunting experience. Don't miss out. Like you said, everything has been a dream for me forever. Uh, like I say the Cape Buffalo that I took uh, is the animal that I've always wanted to take everything. And it was a uh, extremely hard and everything. We had 12 people, three horses, uh, everything going on, and I had to shoot him at 200 yards in the mountains, uh, climbing over rocks and, oh man, it was it was amazing everything I kept. You wouldn't want to just sit there and just shoot him everything I kept, you know, even walk out of a bush or something. That just made it that much better and everything I kept. I didn't like it climbing up the mountain or down, but we got him and uh, like I say, you know, just like I say, if you're gonna come, like I say, you wanna get your little stuff in a little bit better shape than I did, and uh, you know, be willing to shoot off them sticks and everything to get a little practice. Uh, it doesn't take much of getting used to, adjusting everything, but uh, like I say, I took a giant uh, water buck, uh, uh, like I say, a giant gims bug, like I say, the Niala, uh, and it was just, like I said, the first animal was that Niala. It was just a beautiful animal. And that water buck was awesome. Like I say, they were stalking it from the below. We were stalking it, me and uh, Nick were not uh, stalking it from above. Uh, we got, we walked right up on him about 300 yards. And Kevin was wanting to shoot him, but we shot him first. So <laughs> it worked out. Like I say, he got a, he got a real good one today, uh, yesterday, so. I'm sure he's not too happy, unhappy with it. So, uh, like I say, we've just had an awesome time with wonderful people, wonderful meals, just, you know, meeting everybody that we have as all the guides, all the, uh, everybody's just been wonderful. The drivers, wonderful. the skinners, the people, all the other ranches, everybody's been phenomenal. Uh, I mean, to say they've been hospitable is, is an understatement and almost insulting. They've been uh, they've been great, been great people. Uh, 
to you know to be around to talk with it. the knowledge of animals guys i know a lot of you gonna watch this and think oh i know animals uh, yeah okay all i'm gonna say is come get you some i've okay. hunted north america all my life and i know north american animals you come over here and you've got we've seen uh out of the 30 species that Nick offers on his Plains Games package, we saw 29 of them. And you start trying to identify those animals when they're running about 50 miles an hour dead away from you. And the fact those guys can do it in about a half a second before I can even lift my binoculars, it's incredible. I, 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 will, I wish I could tell you how they did it, but I certainly don't know. Just years and years and years of doing it, I believe. But that's why you want to come with an outfitter that, that's reputable, that knows their business, that that does the business right. So uh, it's been a great time. Like I said, Donnie and I have hunted together for the last more than 25 years now. Yeah. And we've talked about coming to Africa for probably most of that 25 years. And uh, all I want to say, fellas, is talk is cheap. And all it is is money. They print more of it every day and you can't take any of it with you when you go. Uh, so it, it's definitely, it's an experience. I, I read a quote from watching all these videos before leading up to here. The only man I envy is the man who has yet gone to Africa because he has so much yet to look forward to. And I can tell you right now, whoever wrote that is a very wise man. Donnie, it's been a blast, brother. Yes, sir. And I couldn't come with anybody better to, to want to hunt with. See, it's just been a dream. <laughs>